having a hard time solving partial fraction decomposition in integral calculus. In this video, we're gonna learn how to analyze and solve partial fraction decomposition. But before that, let us discuss what is partial fraction decomposition. When we're dealing with integration by partial fraction, we're breaking down rational expression to two or more fraction. When you talk about rational function, it is a ratio of two polynomials, like n of x over d of x. Now, when the degree of the denominator d of x is greater than the numerator n of x, we all know that it is proper fraction. Otherwise, it is an improper. Now, when you encounter improper fraction, you must use long division method to help you solve the problem. Solving partial fraction decomposition, here are some formulas that we use in decomposing fractions. Familiarize this form and then we can proceed to our examples. So now let's solve our first problem. The integral of 3x plus 11 over x squared minus x minus 6 dx using partial fraction decomposition. As you can see, the denominator can be factored out. So let's rewrite the equation. 3x plus 11 over x minus 3 times x plus 2. By decomposing, we will now have linear equation. So we will have a over x minus 3 plus b over x plus 2. So we will multiply both sides by the common denominator, which is x minus 3 times x plus 2. So we will now have 3x plus 11 is equal to a times x plus 2 plus b times x minus 3. So our goal is to find a value of constant a and b. So let's try plug in values of x so that we can eliminate one constant. Let's try... Um, let x is equal to negative 2. 3 times negative 2 plus 11 is equal to a times negative 2 plus 2 plus b times negative 2 minus 3. So we will have 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 11 is equal to 5. Negative 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 5. We're dividing both sides by negative 5. B is equal to negative 1. So we now have the value of our constant B which is negative 1. So let's now find the value of so let's plug in another value of x so that we can eliminate b. So let x is equal to 3. Let's plug in the value of x. 3 times 3 plus 11 is equal to a times 3 plus 2 plus b times 3 minus 3. 3 times 3 equals 9 plus 11 is equal to 10. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. By dividing both sides by 5, we now have the value of a, which is equal to 4. So let's now substitute their values so that they compose equation. Integral of a, which is 4, over x minus 3 dx, plus the integral of b, which is negative 1, over x plus 2 dx. By using constant multiple rule, we will have 4, the integral of 1 over x minus 3 dx. Minus the integral of 1 over x 
plus 4 dx let u is equal to x minus 3. The derivative of x minus 3 is 1 dx. So we will have for integral of du over u minus let u is equal to x plus 2. The derivative of x plus u is 1 dx. So we will have integral of du over u. Using log group, we will have for natural log of u minus natural log of u plus c. We plug in the values of u. We have for natural log of the absolute value of u, which is x minus 3, minus natural log of the absolute value of u, which is x plus 2, plus c. So this is our final answer. So for our next problem, let's try to solve the integral of 10 over x minus 1 times x squared plus 9 dx. So this time, we will encounter linear and quadratic factor. So our first step, let's decompose this equation using linear and quadratic factor. So let's cut in the equation x minus 1 times x squared plus 9. So A, using the linear factor, x minus 1, and for the quadratic factor, is equal to bx plus c over x squared plus 9. After this, let's multiply both sides by the common denominator. x minus 1 times x squared plus 9. So this side, let's copy 10. It's equal to a over x minus 1 times x minus 1 x squared plus 9. Let's cancel x minus 1, then multiply x squared plus 9 to 8. Plus, this time, x squared plus 9 and x squared plus 9 will cancel out, and x minus 1 multiplied by dx plus c. So for our next step, let's try to find the value of a. So we need to give value for x in order to cancel out this equation. So let x is equal to 1. So we need 1 to cancel out this 1. So it will bring out 0 multiplied by this. So the error will become 0. So let's substitute value. So 1 squared plus 9 will bring up 10. Then divided by both sides by 10. This one will cancel up and 10 divided by 10. The answer is 1. So we have a value of a which is equal to positive 1. So this time, let's rewrite this equation. So 10 is equal to a times x squared plus 9 plus bx plus c times x minus 1. So let's multiply this term using foil method. So 10 is equal to 8x squared plus 9a plus bx times x bx squared bx times negative 1 so bx c times x positive cx and c times negative 1 negative c. So let's arrange this equation from highest degree variable to the lowest degree of variable. So 10 is equal to ax squared plus bx squared minus bx plus cx plus 9a minus c. Since the right side has the highest degree variable of 2, we must arrange also the left side from highest degree variable of 2 to constant. So let's add 0x squared plus 0x plus 10, which is the constant, equal to 
ax squared plus bx squared minus bx plus cx plus 9a minus. So by adding 0x squared plus 0x, do not alter the previous equation. So this time, let's equate both sides according to its degree of variable. So for 0x squared, 0x squared, let's copy ax squared plus bx squared. So after that, let's factor out x squared. So 0x squared is equal to x squared times a plus b. Then, divided by both sides by x squared. So this will bring out 0 is equal to a plus b. So for 0x, let's copy negative bx plus cx. Then, factor out x. And divide both sides by x. So 0 is equal to negative b plus c. And for constant, 10. Let's copy 9a minus c. Since we have the value of a, let's substitute this value to the first equation. So 0 is equal to a plus b. 0, 1, plus b. Since we have the value of b, let's substitute its value to the second equation. So 0 is equal to negative b plus c. 0 is equal to negative quantity of negative 1 plus c. So 0 is equal to negative times negative will become positive 1 plus c. Then c is equal to negative 1. So this time, let's substitute the value of the three constant to this equation. So let's rewrite the equation, the integral of a over x minus 1 plus bx plus c over x squared plus 9 bx. So the value of a is equal to 1 b to negative 1 and c to negative 1. So we need to integrate this equation separately. So integral of a over x minus 1 dx plus integral of bx plus c over x squared plus 9 dx. Then let's substitute the value of a which is equal to 1 over x minus 1 dx plus the value of b and c integral of b which is negative 1 x minus 1 over x squared plus 9 dx so let's solve first this integration so the integral of 1 over x minus 1 Dx. So we let u is equal to x minus 1 and the derivative of u is equal to dx. So let's rewrite the equation by substituting the value of u and the derivative of u. So the integral of 1 over u times the derivative of u. So let's apply the rule. So natural log absolute value of u plus c. Then, let's substitute the value of u, which is x minus 1. So, ln, absolute value of x minus 1 plus c. So, let's copy this answer and set aside first. So, natural log, absolute value of x minus 1 plus c. Then, let's proceed to our next integration. So, the integral of negative x minus 1 over x squared plus 9 dx. So let's rewrite this equation and expand negative x over x squared plus 9 minus 1 over x squared plus 9 dx. 
So by applying sum rule, so the integral of negative x over x squared plus 9 minus integral of 1 over x squared plus 9 dx. So let's integrate these terms separately. So first, let's copy the first term. Integral of negative x over x squared plus 9 dx. Then, we let u is equal to x squared plus 9 and its derivative which is 2x dx. So dx is equal to du over 2x. So let's substitute this value to the equation. So the graph of negative x over u times du over 2x. So x divided by x is equal to 1. Then apply constant multiple rule. So we now have negative 1 half integral of 1 over u du. So applying log rule, let's copy negative 1 half multiply by natural log of u plus c. Substitute value of u, negative 1 half natural log x squared plus 9 plus c. Now we have the value of this term and let's set aside first negative 1 half natural log of x squared plus 9 plus c. And let's proceed for this term. So negative integral of 1 over x squared plus 9 dx. So this term is equal to negative integral of 1 over x squared plus 3 squared dx. Then, applying inverse trigonometric function, this will result to negative 1 third arctan of x over 3 plus c. So we have now the value of our three terms and we need to combine these terms together. So the answer is natural log of x minus 1 copy the second term which is ne negative 1 half natural log of x squared plus 9 and copy the third term which is negative 1 third arctan of x over t. So this time we need to add the arbitrary constant. So this is the answer for this equation. So we are adding plus c because we are dealing with the infinite integral. Thank you. So that's it guys. We hope that you understand a lot about partial fraction decomposition. And thank you for watching our video. Bye!